Greetings gamers, I'm Raz from Crush on Pixels. I'm going to be playing um, I Divine Cybermancy, which is a little indie game that was released about a year ago through Steam. Uh, it's a first-person cyberpunk uh, RPG game. Uh, so think Deus Ex or Fallout 3 or something like that. Uh, I played this game very briefly before. As you can see right here, it says I have a character called O, or, or is it a zero, Raziel, which is usually a new username I use uh, on most places. Uh, I'm a level 5. I can tell you I got to level 5 by accident. I basically, at the start of the game, came to the first city where I, I have all my... I don't know what to call them, guild members or whatever, and I accidentally shot someone, and out of nowhere, a bunch of enemies popped up and started shooting me, and I was defending my, I was defending to try and survive against all that. Uh, I did not survive by the end, but I have survived long enough to get to level five, if you can believe that. Uh, I'm not going to load that character. I'm going to start a new character because I don't think I did a very good job the first time, especially since I shot one of my own clan members. Uh, that was kind of stupid of me. Uh, so I'm going to, like I said, create a new character. I'm just going to call him Raz, which, you know, is usually a username I use. Uh, now I should point out that, that the character I already have was created a long time ago, so I don't really remember any details of how this thing works. What I do remember it was that is that this game was very poorly translated or localized. Uh, a lot of words they use or, or, or phrases or references in general are very confusing. It's very dif difficult to understand a lot of it. Uh, they use, of course, they do use some general words like, for, just for example, you can see right here in the right, right part of the screen it says strength and stuff. So you recognize certain parts, but in other places you might read a word and it's not really carefully explained, so you have to sort of figure out what they mean by it. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to read uh, what the because lots of things have uh, descriptions like th this part in particular has description once you uh, set the mouse over one of these here you can see the text down here changes uh, so at least this part you can get down pretty well um, so like I said this is a uh, practically a first playthrough for me because the first character I don't really remember anything about it I don't remember any phrases anything of the plot anything of my character anything uh, so this is this is new for me. So the first thing I see here is that I'm supposed to choose my own genes for my own DNA pool. Um, okay, so I see here's a perfect example. What what do these things mean? Now um, I'm guessing it's gonna say somewhere. If if I change this, oh okay. So if I change to something, it's just it's stupid. It doesn't show the description directly down here but if I select one like let's select this third one here then it changes the description down here so I have to I have to click in order to to see the description alright so let's go to with the first one Bina whatever that means uh, this gene represents the concrete thinking the intelli intelligence uh, medium bonus hacking medicine and mental balance low ma malus is, th is that a r correct word malus uh, strength endurance. Um, by the way, this just popped in m into my head. This game is actually by a French company called, uh, and I'm probably not pronouncing this correctly, Strom on Studio. Uh, it's a, it's an indie studio. There are like 10, 12 people or something like that. Uh, but having said that, the the game looks really good. I mean, it's just the, it's the Source engine, so it's pretty old, but they did a pretty darn good job. I mean, it's considering it's an indie game, it's pretty impressive. Um, so let's keep going here. So this uh, basically gave me medium bonus on hacking, med medicine, and mental balance. Uh, the second one, Yezod. Uh, this gene represents the vital dash, the physical strength, and base, and the basis, or the basis, the base, whatever. Uh, medium bonus, strength and endurance. Low bonus, hacking and medicine. This one sounds pretty good. Uh, this covers the basics, so it's pretty balanced, I think. Uh, let's see, the third one, Netza. Uh, this gene represents sense, the, gra the grace, and the fluidity. Medium balance, accuracy, agility, low malice, strength, and endurance. Okay. 
Uh, let's take the fourth one as well, just to see what we got here. This gene represents the equilibrium, the con the consciousness. Uh, medium bonus, Psi Force, Mental Balance, Low Malus, uh, Accuracy in Hacking. Okay, see one thing they haven't explained so far is what Psi Bonus is. Um, I cannot really remember from the fir from my first playthrough what that is. I'm hoping they'll, they'll show me s at some point what it means. Uh, so let's just keep going. Uh, g oh, g Gubra. 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 Whatever. <laughs> this gene represents the power. Alright, now this is probably just the powerhouse of the, all these genes. Uh, the, the high bonus, strength, endurance, agility, high malice, medicine, hacking, and mental balance. This one sounds very good. Almost too good to be true. I mean, what is really the difference between this one and... Okay, I guess the focus is more... But this one has high on everything, including... What is bonus and what is malus? I don't know what malus is. Is that like the opposite of bonus? I need to look that... You know what? This is Steam. I'm gonna cheat. Not really cheat, but I'm gonna check what the word malus means. Um, malus. Is that what it said? Malus? Malus? Yeah, Malus. Uh, the return of performance related compensation upon discovery. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. There is a Malus clause in this contract. Okay. Okay, so I, I think that means the opposite of bonus. I, I'm not really sure how to understand this description and the dictionary. Uh, Alright. So, basically the opposite of bonus. Uh, I, I, I'm, this is still just a guess. <laughs> uh, I'm not uh, from an English-speaking country. Uh, you may have noticed that when I did the browser thing, it, 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 had, uh, it didn't say search, it said soak. Uh, if you if you read that in an English accent, actually it says suck, which is a Swedish word for which is the Swedish word for search. Uh, I live in Sweden, obviously. Um, so, okay, so the high bonus strength endurance, and then a very low um, con um, malus for medicine hacking and mental balance. Um, let's just see what else we have. Kether. It was easy to pronounce this one. Okay, this gene represents the absolute will. High bonus, psi force, endurance, and agility. Uh, high malus, medicine, accuracy, and mental balance. These seem kind of like important things. I don't think this one is for me really. Mm, okay, Hockman or Hockmach, whatever. Uh, this gene represents the abstract thinking. High bonus, look, uh, accuracy, uh, medicine, and hacking. Uh, low malus, so that's a low con, so it's just below normal? I, I don't know. Uh, strength, uh, psi force, and endurance. Alright, and uh, the second to last one. Uh, this, this gene represents the intoxicating chaos of the metastromonic force. Metastromonic force, oh my god. See, they use words that are just downright hard to say. <laughs> Or it might just be me. Uh, very high bonus and malus all er, all characteristics. Very high bonus and malus all characteristics. What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god! <laughs> Someone needs to translate this for me. Okay, I, I should look to the right because I no noticed right now it said uh, it has green and red um, or numbers. So I'm guessing if I choose a number... Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not still not sure what all this means. Um, low malus. What, what is mail? I still don't know what malus is. I'm, I'm still guessing it means um, the opposite of bonus. But... I don't know. 
You know what? I'm probably gonna stick to this one unless... Let me just see. I, I, there was another one that sort of seemed interesting, I think. This, uh, what did this one do? Accuracy, agility, strength, and endurance. I should probably look at what changes when I click. Uh, this, this one changed a bit, but wasn't very good. It, it it's making weird changes because because at one point I think choosing between this one and this one had almost all green, and then now I'm back at them and they're not all green. Uh, this is very confusing. Um, I wish w I could actually just see what sort of what statistic it adds instead of just a description. Uh, like if I put my mouse over this one, it adds plus something over here so that I can see it directly. That would be helpful. Uh, a hint for all the designers out there and game developers. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna stick with uh, two of the these because they have at least strength and endurance. Hacking medicine. You know what? With high endurance, I should be all right. I think for for a first playthrough. The first one, what did it do? Hacking, medicine, and mental... See? That, I, at least I get that one. Alright, so... Gene fusion. Okay, I'm supposed to fuse these genes. Oh, okay. So it randomizes my skills. So if I keep pressing, eventually I get all green, I hope. <laughs> or at least balanced. So this one has high strength, and everything else is trem... Oh, and uh, high health also. Which makes sense. Um, yeah. So let's see. And what is endurance is only 33. Even though I chose these three, how is that possible? Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, here is one that has pretty high endurance and high health, uh, but low agility and accuracy. Now I'm sort of this the type of player that I am is I usually use snipers and stuff. I'm, I'm kind of stealthy. I try to be at least. Uh, so. I don't think I need accuracy and I need agility. I'm sort of like a thief character. Um, Psy Force. I still don't know what Psy Force. Okay, here we go. Psy Force. The this skill defines the physic, psychic resistance of the player as well as the strength of his psy powers. Psy powers. I guess this is the magic attack. Um, there's some form of psy magic skills that you can have. Uh, so I guess this is mana or something like that. Um, I'm probably not going to use that a lot, so I don't mind that bit. However, low agility, uh, I like speed. I like being able to travel fast and jump fast, fast and stuff like that. I want to feel like a, you know, like a powerful, I suppose. Um, so let's try again. Hacking, agility again goes down, no. Uh, this one has agility that's kind of okay. Low hacking and low medicine, however. High strength. This one, actually, I think I'm going to stick with this one. High endurance, high strength, um, normal agility. I don't think I'd get better agility from this one, because uh, the, the genes that I selected don't even reference agility at all, so I guess it'll always end up lower. Uh, I guess these, uh, the setting I choose here basically improves or lowers the odds of specific choices here. Um, so I think this is about as optimal as I can get. Um, I'm just gonna go with it, whatever. Except character. You are in the odd place where dreams and reality intersect. If you step beyond the portal, the game results uh, resumes at the chapter and the mission where you stopped. Or you begin the, uh, the campaign if it is the first time you play your character. If you log out and create a new character, stepping beyond the portal will start a new game, uh, beginning at the first chapter. If you load an existing character, the game will resume where you stop. Okay, so. Yeah, all right. This is all right. Uh, so this is a new character. So as soon as I step through those doors, uh, okay, where am I? Deja vu. Okay. So when I step through this door, I'm gonna start from the beginning, basically. All right. I killed my mentor. Apparently. Sorry about that, dude. Um. 
Okay, let's step through. And see how it goes. I should apologize in, in advance. When things start happening in the game, you'll probably notice if you look at the, the webcam part, uh, my mouth is going to be open. When I play games, I noticed uh, in the last last time I tried to record or something that when I play games, my mouth is open because I'm sort of like, ah. So I apologize for that. You can laugh at it if you want. It's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Also, I should probably clarify that I have a pretty unique controller setup right now. I'm combining a controller with a uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, see, I have a controller in my left hand for steering the character and uh, sprinting, crouching, uh, aiming down, uh, down sight, and um, what else? No, that's about it, I think. Uh, and I use the mouse for reloading, firing, of course, jumping, uh, which would make more sense in the left controller if you're thinking about whatever. Um, and uh, there's probably things I missed, so I'll be forced to use the keyboard, but I'll figure it out as I go. But I noticed this configuration actually works really well uh, with, uh, especially with games uh, in, in the Source engine, with, like this game in particular. Um, I played Half-Life 2, as some of you may have seen the videos that have been uploaded on our channel. Um, that's where I use this configuration, and it works really well. It, I mean, steering with the controller is so much e easier than using the WASD configuration on the keyboard that so many people are used to. Uh, mission objectives. They are displayed by triangle triangles. Some need a line. Some need a line of sight to see them, or need you to be in, in a certain distance to appear at a certain distance. Okay. So. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I am alive. The C key. Um, I remember I actually did map this C key to something. I don't remember what. That sucks, I should probably remember. That was a flashlight. Which is not really powerful here. That's uh, no, no, not that one. That's crouch. I don't know if this is it. Is this what I was supposed to take up? No? Well, I can press C and see what happens. Oh! Alright. Um, and I'm supposed to hold it, apparently. So, okay. Down. Configure select panel. Oh, alright. So I could basically, could basically go like this. Same thing. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 primary attack launch, blah, blah, blah. Am I supposed to do something? Nah. Okay, so I'm in a hurry? So I have a pistol at least. Not a lot of bullets though. To watch the weapon to oh whatever, I'll watch let's let's watch the weapon tutorial. Do I have to select it myself? I guess so. Uh, weapon, not weapon reload, blah blah blah, blah. using, ah, screw it, I know how weapons work, in video games at least, not in real life. Oh, it's, it's not a toggle, I have to hold it down, that sucks. Man, I really hate that part. Alright, I'll get used to it. Okay, so I go up there. Under some water.
Whoa, shh. Oh, dude. Uh, I think he's dead. I hope he's dead. Alright, let's keep going.